Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuka Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again for update 31, trying to delve into more of the secrets and stuff. And today I'm going to be checking out Skeleton, because Skeleton has actually had some improvements, which I am quite down with. I'm going to go with a bazooka, um, and I think I'm going to stick with the inverted crown. I'm really liking that so far. But basically, our blood gamble... Um, is now a little easier to use because we have, I think, one extra HP. I think you normally have four, now we have five. We also have less a reduction to our speed than normal. This guy gets a pretty hefty reduction to his speed, and that has been reduced a good bit. So, very happy to see that. But yeah, I want to go for an explosive run because Boiling Veins has been changed a little bit, so I'm kind of excited to try that out. But, as you know, we want to go for... Ooh, Micro Assault Rifle, very nice. We want to be going for... Um, the new area and trying to beat our clone. Okay, that was a, a pretty bad start there, but hey ho. Um, yeah, I want to go to the, the new area and beat our clone. I'm very curious to see what doing that um, achieves. I'm guessing it'll be like maybe you'll get an extra, you'll get, because it takes three mutations away from you, so maybe it's like re rolls those three mutations. You get to like choose what you want or something out of a choice of a few, selection of a few, so you can kind of get a free reroll going or something. Maybe it'll be some sort of progression unlock, considering the new progression unlocks the game seems to have. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm excited to find out. I think it could be quite fun to see um, what is available and what is new, because actually, even though the patch notes go over a lot, it doesn't really fully explain everything that's new. So, there's, there's more that we can potentially see. There's more that we can potentially see. We'll, uh, we'll grab the Jawbreaker here, and we'll go in here. But yeah, I won't be using Blood Gamble a ton to start with, but later on I might. 37% um, less enemy HP. Is that... that's... didn't that only used to be 25? Slightly less effective and big health pools. Okay, kind of interesting. Um, extra feet has changed. Okay. More speed, walk on normal and alter aids, close dodges, sometimes drop resources, and casts a shield. Can't be displaced by enemies, negate weapon recoil, increase resistance to portal pull. Oh my lord, increase resistance to portal pull. This is my favorite thing I've ever found. <laughs> I've been asking for this for so long. That's so nice. I know it's a mutation, not just a base feature, but I still really like that. Oh, also, I, I was told that I should um, turn on the boss intros. Is there any other settings I should be changing? But yeah, um... Turning the boss intros on, I'm guessing there's just some new intros, um, and I don't really use the boss intros before, so... Hey, there was that shield. Okay. Okay, extra feet might be kind of amazing. Ooh. Inverted big bandit there. Okay, let's let's be a little careful here, because it's getting a little sketchy. It's getting a little sketchy. But yeah, boss intros, pretty cool. I'm going to go for frost on this bad boy as well, why not? I'm going to shoot that wall through there. Ooh, we got a big boy over here. He's instantly dead. He was a big boy, but not for long. Okay, we're probably going to want some HP as well here if we can grab it. Um, okay, every fourth failed blood gamble heals you one instead. Oh, that's a that's that, that's a complete rework of his throne, but... That's kind of cool. I, I, I mean, I prefer the old one where it's just better. But I, I guess I'll give it a go. Every every fourth one heals us instead. I guess with, like, second stomach, that could be really, really good. Do you know what? I knew I was going to die there, and I for some reason did it anyways. I can't exactly explain my reasoning as to why. But yeah, the blood gamble's kind of like you don't really need it early game when you've got enough ammo to, to, to easily kill things. I don't really need to be sort of risking it, so to say. So therefore... I'm not going to risk it. Level 2, lovely. Yeah, a little bit of skeleton. Quite nice. Um, uh, power craving? I'm going to go with power craving, I think. I don't take it often enough, and I really like it. And the increased inverted portal chance with the um, currently increased portal chance we've got from our little dude is quite fun. Split a mine launcher. Ooh, that's got a bit of herming on it. And it's explosive. Oh, it swaps between ammo types, though, which makes it a little harder to use. Dude, I am getting absolutely shellacked right now because of my low HP. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm using a weapon that is very dangerous, but let's ignore that for now. Let's ignore that for now. And just focus on the positives, shall we? 
Oh, really? <laughs> Doesn't help that I keep missing. Do you know what, though? Getting uh, eagle eyes with this would be really good, because we, we noticed the herming was kind of insane with eagle eyes previously. So I think maybe taking eagle eyes with this could be really, really good. I want to see how that pans out. Excuse me, that didn't kill you. Got the nail gun here, which is pretty amazing. Oh, dude. I know that I just keep killing myself, and I'm sure it's really frustrating to watch. I will get there eventually. Oh, wait. Do explosives pass over, like, cactuses and stuff now? I need to test that theory. They do! Oh, my God. What an amazing fix. That is something that I have always hated about nuclear throw and base and modded, is that if you shoot at, like, a, a decal on the wall, like a cactus or whatever, uh, it'll just, like, shoot the cactus and get you killed. Oh, dude, I like the fact that it uh, opens up the rad canisters from miles away now as well. That's really nice. But, yeah, no more accidentally killing yourself because there's a tiny fucking cactus in the way. It's going to take me a while to get used to the fact that that's the case now, but still, that's, that's really, really nice. That is very, very nice indeed. Good. Um, I think Rhino Skin is pretty much a necessity here. We, we keep dying to stupid stuff, so I'm going to take that and be happy with it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take a few of these fellas out. The explosion radius here is good. I could take the, the bigger explosive radius. And the big bandits here. I could take the bigger explosive radius. Um, charge bird, rather nice. On my uh, crown. But it my, it's minus one max HP. And I think as this character, the max HP is already low. I don't want to be lowering it any more than I have to. I just need my explosive immunity. If I remember correctly, though, they did make it so that it's no longer... Uh, under 5 HP. It's back to being under 4, which I think is fair. Bomb lobber. Now, nah, I'm going to stick with what I got. Um, we got mood swing there, uh, but we got shotgun shoulders. We've got a shotgun, so why not take that? I, I think shotgun shoulders is not the best, but unbelievably fun. Like, I think with some shotguns, it's amazing. With the base shotgun, it's kind of so so. But it is fun, definitely. Get rid of that. I'm so glad you can just blow those up now. Is that not enough to open the inverted portal? I would have thought it was. Why wow, do you see that dodge there? How is this not enough to open the inverted portal? How many enemies have we got left here? Just you two? Okay. Yeah, I love having the extra inverted chance. It's just, it's a little bit of extra difficulty, and it's just, it's just fun, isn't it? It's just fun. Uh, Rabbit's Paw, I think I'll probably take here. Rabbit's Paw's pretty good. Ooh, I got like a flash of green there on my screen. Very, very quick, like one frame of like my screen being entirely green. Did anyone else see that, or was that just me? That might be my monitor, rather than the actual game, I'm not sure. Shotgun Shield is also really good for situations like this where there's just a ton of enemies and you don't really know where. You can just kind of fire the shotgun in and hope for the best. Holy god, how did I not get hit there? That was kind of wild. We made it through, but that was kind of wild. Um... Ooh, Hypersomnia's got a change description here as well. Oh, wait, no, that's just that's just updated to sort of fully reflect. I'm going to take extra feet again, I'll, I'll be honest. Extra feet is, uh, is my jam right now. Okay, let's exit through here. Oh, look at that. Went straight through that stack of tires. It's beautiful. Okay, let's just be slightly cautious here. Yeah, the explosive snipers are... Uh, coming in hot. I don't actually know where they are. Dude, one of my biggest pet peeves as well is the fact that snipers can shoot through that goddamn boss's body. Just just make it so they can't shoot through the boss. It's so frustrating. Also, these mini missiles. My god. These mini missiles are the worst. I think I got him. Don't know if I've killed him. No idea. Ooh, I'm going to take that. I know that I've been going explosive, but Bouncer Crossbow is pretty good. I think it's been increased to tier. Yeah, I think it was tier 2 before. I like to see the balance change with the tiers and stuff as well. It's nice. 
Okay, the, the fire rate on that thing is abysmally slow. I'm gonna set the charge laser now instead. I'm, I'm swap, trying to swap weapon a little bit more than I normally do because I often stick with the same weapons for too long and it can be a bit boring content wise, but also I, I, I find it can sometimes limit my potential power. So I ought to be uh, playing around a little more with more weapon types. Okay, um, adrenaline fuel, probably a good idea here. I'm going to take Hypersomnia though. I think Hypersomnia is just absolutely top tier and has been for a few patches now. Being able to kill like half of the entire floor before they even react is, uh, is pretty awesome. That skull's just decorative, isn't it? So what about this skull? Okay, no, I don't have an explosive weapon anymore, so I can't test that out. I'm stupid. We got the inverted. Let's go through the inverted, I think. Only thing at the minute is I have basically no idea where the hell I'm going. I'll take the toxic line. Ow. Ow! Oh my god, I got double hit there. Okay, we're good. We are good. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know, like, am I going to end up going to the Crystal Caves here? Ooh, the Toxic line is nowhere near as good as it used to be. It's, uh, it spreads the Toxic a lot, lot wider than it used to. It used to be, like, literally a very defined line. So that's not as good as it used to be. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to rip. <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming. So let, let's, even though that health is going to be bad here, let's try this out. Because this thing with the bigger explosions is a lot of fun. As dangerous as it is. As dangerous as it is. But yeah, because inverted portals take us to different places, I don't know if the new area you can only access from the Crystal Cave, or if you can access it from the equivalent floors. Like, if you're on the same sort of... Ooh. How does this work with... Okay, this does actually work with bigger explosions. Nice. I'm going to use this then. This thing with bigger explosions is kind of actually pretty nuts. Because normally it has, like, no explosion radius at all. It just does a micro-explosion on the direct target you hit. But this actually has some radius to it now. So it's pretty goddamn good, I've got to say. I like it quite a bit. Um, Still haven't found our goddamn boiling veins yet, which is annoying. We, we kind of proved last time that back muscle is pretty goddamn good. Uh, so I think I'm going to take back muscle here. Especially when we're using two guns of the same ammo type. The reduced ammo cost is is potentially pretty good, with the depending on the weapons. And we were able to keep our ammo pretty high last time, so I think it'll prove to be good again this time. Lovely stuff. Ooh, there's Big Bandit. So I'm guessing some bosses don't have portraits yet, and some do. Like the, um... Ooh, Micro SMG. Like the, what's it called here? Uh, the inverted Big Bandit, but Big Bandit itself does. I like that. Boiling Vins. Boiling veins. Nah, I'm just gonna keep taking extra feet. Extra feet is uh it's become it's become something of a of a love of mine over the past few updates. And it just keeps getting better and better. In the base game, it's just not really that appealing, like at all. Like the the uh, the the sort of features of like get, not getting stuck on terrain is just like so infrequent that it's like not worth it. And the speed up is like eh, it's nice, but like I find speed doesn't really contribute that much. Charge laser as a secondary there. I'm a lot harder to hit myself with this, I gotta say. We'll go pizza time here. Um I guess I'll go with adrenaline fuel at this point. We'll grab this as well, actually. I know it's uh cursed, but still, I'd like to have a screwdriver here. Really? Orbiter. Ooh, I like that. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of unique. Micro grenade. Wait, there we go. So is this thing basically just like a, a, a laser pistol, but it's got a bit of a charge up and a bounce to it? Either way, I like it. Heavy pop gun just decimated him. Laser cannon. 
I've, I've heard good things about the laser cannon, so I'm going to try it out. Just trying to get as many rads as I can from this area before we leave. Cool. Now we can go. Okay, back all the way over here. Um, boiling veins, there it is. Although we don't have explosive weapons anymore, so it isn't anywhere near as relevant. Um. Hmm. This also gives us this caster shield ability. Considering we've got, um, extra feet, let's go with this and we'll, we'll try and go for all the shield-based mutations and see how they sort of stack up together, because I imagine they'll be pretty good, right? Yeah, we might get a, a new golden weapon here. We, or we also might not, but... The chance of it happening is worth having a little look-see. Just a few of you down here. Let's get out the laser cannon again. Yeah, there we go. We shielded there, I think. We're on 2 HP at the minute, though, which I'm not a fan of. Okay, Golden Wrench. Unfortunately, nothing new, but still not bad. Um, I guess we should take Strong Spirit here. I do like these boss intros. They're pretty cool. God damn, this, this, this heavy pop gun is wild. Ooh, chop gun. Oh, that's awesome. Bloodline there. I'm getting some really high tier weapons right now. Bloodline's gonna be good. Bloodline's a lot of protection and good damage. And good damage, but mainly the protection is what I care about right now. But yeah, this thing, considering I have bouncy, I I'd love to get this thing with shotgun shoulders. That'd be uh, a whole deal of fun. Do you know what? I'll be honest. It might be worth renaming. I know that like it's like you don't always do this with with this mod, but it might be worth renaming shotgun shoulders because, like. It works with pop guns. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it instead. It didn't give me those rads then. Hell. Um, we'll go with Rhino skin here. Ow. Holy, what is going on down here right now? Energy hammer. We've got shanker, shovel, frost blower. I'm just gonna carry on with this. I think this thing will destroy him. Inverted machine. Oh god damn, this thing's got such crazy damage. Okay. We've, we've did, we did get a, a different portal colour here. Um, but why is the portal different colour here? Hmm. Um, eagle Eyes, we've, we've sort of spoken about how good Eagle Eyes is. Okay, I think it's just because it's taking us to this floor here, which I wasn't expecting. Although, there might be a change to this floor. Okay, at least we can destroy the red shots and the green. Yeah, this is why blood uh, is the best. Bloodline is bloodline and blood wall are probably the two best defensive things you can get in the entire game. I think there might be ones I'm not thinking of, but those are the ones that come to mind for me. It does seem the higher tier weapons are spawning earlier, which I, I like. I certainly like. Okay. We're doing a good job of keeping these guys at bay. Dude, the homing on this thing's wild, by the way. I'm not aiming at a lot of these enemies. It's just doing it for me. Eagle Eyes, I love you. It makes it so much easier to have that little bit of aim assist working for you. We got hacks, bro. Awesome. Um, pl Probably Plutonium Hunger here. Cheshire Cat. 
Where's the Cheshire Cat at? Yes, there you go. The Cheshire Cat got a pretty awesome spray overhaul. It looks a lot better now. Looks a lot, lot better. I love the new sprite for that. That's one of the things I was look hoping to show off. Scythe Dispenser Gun. I'm going to try that out. Heavy pop gun's been good to us, but that seems more fun. And it goes through walls too, which seems nice. Yeah, this thing seems amazing. So we are in the Crystal Caves again, so we should be able to make it work. Be a little cautious. Big bad bat is here. There it is, look. Okay, good. Kraken launcher. That's pretty good. Damn good. Nah, I'm still gonna stick with this. Right, let's offer up three mutations here and see what we get. We lose Adrenaline Fuel, we lose Euphoria, and we lose Eagle Eyes. Ah, oh, Eagle Eyes, really? Now, the good thing is, this should be a pretty good weapon here. Unfortunately, it doesn't destroy the purple bullets. I kind of regret throwing away my other weapon now. This this thing's good, but it's, it's actually not as good as the, uh, the heavy pop gun. The heavy pop gun was wild. I'm poisoned. I find it really, really hard to see when these poison guys are coming at me. I got my level ultra. I see you. Being cautious where I can be here. Love Bomber is good. Ah, oh, it's one of you, I see. Dude, that ring attack is uh, kind of hard to see where it's actually going to hit you. Okay. Right. We got our Ultra here. Let's have a little look. See, rerolls all your mutations. Gain patience is an extra choice every time. When you loop, you can gain Ultra again. Normal movement speed, normal accuracy. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. Replaces your active with blood splatter. You uh, spawn blood towards nearby corpses. Throwing but increases the amount of blood. Blood can destroy all types of projectiles. Blood can go through walls. That seems very good. Um, immune while stationary. Nope, don't care. Gain two lives. Now we're going to go for this. I know you're trying to poison me, you shit. I can see you there. Being Mr. Invisible. Doom Lobber is pretty goddamn good. I think I'm going to take it. Just puts in a bit of a stuff spot for ammo, though. Okay, that doesn't work the way I thought it would. I probably have to take another right weapon here, aren't I? Otherwise, I'm going to be screwed over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this again. Just while we're doing this. Right, boss time. Remember, we got to kill a boss and then a clone, so... I see you there. How exactly does this work? Okay, there you go. The visionary. Cool. It's not a crazy hard boss, but I'm still particularly worried. I'm, I'm mainly worried about my ammo. Ow. Oh, we did it. 
Okay, now we're, now we're fighting us again. I didn't think about the weapons I had either. He's throwing blood at me, I think. I don't even know what's going on right now. I need more ammo to make this work. I have, I have absolutely no idea how much health this guy has either, which doesn't help. Okay, I need a lot, lot more uh, thingy, please. Ammo. Okay, we got him. We got him. We did it. Okay, we did it. So we had a much better time that time. We didn't have Mila. Okay, we get Regal Vision. What is Regal Vision? Holding e, hold E to drop a skull that can be destroyed by enemies. Upon taking lethal damage, revive at the skull. You get only one skull per area. Oh, damn. Okay. If the skull is destroyed, gain two max HP. Resets the end of the area. Skull can be moved by holding E. I get Eagle Eyes back. I get Euphoria back. I get Adrenaline Fuel back. Okay. So I'm guessing each character has their own special mutation. So I can drop. I can hold E here, and I drop a skull. And now if I die on this floor, I'll return to that exact point. Is that how that works? Okay, I really need some better weapons. This thing is, is uh, not holding up right now. I mean, it does go through walls, like I said, so that is a benefit. But damage-wise, I really wish I was stuck with my other gun. Ooh, I, I need to use that more often. Our ultra. Yeah, dude, we do not have enough ammo to make this work at all. <laughs> so, so, let's just see. So, I'm... I'm confused, because I put the skull down. I don't think it was destroyed, unless it was and I didn't notice. Still, though, that was really, really cool. I am very much enjoying this new look at all this new stuff. I'm excited to see what else comes up. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.